scrutineers can observe the count, uh, but the basic principle is they can look, but they cannot touch. One of the great aspects of Australia's democracy is the transparent nature of both the voting process and the counting process. Candidates can appoint scrutineers, and what scrutineers can do is observe all processes within both the voting and the counting. For the voting process, appointed scrutineers can observe to verify that the provision of votes is being undertaken in line with electoral laws. Things like the mark-off of the electoral roll and the issuing of voting instructions. For scrutineers, the work really starts after voting has finished. Scrutineers are able to oversee all aspects of the count as it progresses in the days and weeks after election day. What they primarily look at is the formality of ballot papers, whether or not a ballot paper has been filled out according to the voting rules, and if they don't think it has, they can challenge that for a secondary review. And they can also observe any counting process they like throughout the entire count. It's not just formality. For example, scrutineers often also seek to verify that ballot papers are being placed in the correct pile during the count and that the number of ballot papers being tallied for any one candidate is correct. But ultimately, all periods of the count are undertaken by AEC polling officials, AEC appointed staff, in accordance with AEC counting procedures. Authorised by the Electoral Commissioner, Canberra.